Alan, I don't know why you're so afraid to go with me to Rome. It's, it's, it's a new life. I just don't want to live in Rome. I don't want to. It's very simple. We need help. We don't talk anymore. We, we need to see someone. If you love me, you'll do what it takes to get past this. Okay, fine. I do know someone, a therapist we use for labor employer relations on the show. We'll see him, all right? We need someone that specializes in marriage therapy. Fiona, please, a therapist is a therapist. You pay them, you tell them your problems, and then you leave and pray to God you never run into them in public. Well, uh, to begin with, I'd like to say, and I think I speak for both of us, that uh, Fiona and I are very much in love. Well, love is, um, love is good, very good. Uh, you know, because, because conflict is, is not good. That's, that's unhealthy, that's a, So, good, great. Well, and uh, Fiona has just written a very successful book. And, uh, and she has an offer to, to go to Rome for a year or so to, to work on a follow-up book. And I just don't feel I, I can... It's not uh, about really Rome. It's not. It's Rome is just a surface problem. S s surface problem? What, what, what? Yes. Uh, he's afraid of me. Afraid of our love. I, I scare him. That's, that's why he wants to stay here and let me go to Rome. That's why he struck me down sexually. S sexually? We don't really have sex anymore. We did. It was, it was great. It was. He, he's a great lover, but it just stopped. Okay. 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 And it's, um, not, it's, not, it's not about the sex. It's, it's not about the sex. It, it really isn't. I, I just, the sex is fine. I, I've just been tired. Yeah, well, you look, you look quite tired. Who would I mean, don't, you know, because I... You know. Stop it. <laughs> well, yeah, absolutely. I mean, you know, so the much. hours I work and, and yeah. uh, you know... Well, sex, well, well, sex, well, sex, sex and intimacy. Ask him. Ask Alan his views on sex. Why, why, why would I do that? Ask him his, his views on sex. Because I want to hear him talk about it. He needs to open up to me. He needs to tell me what it is sex represents. What his penis is telling his heart and what his heart is saying back to his penis, you see? He's a labor dispute counselor. He knows nothing about marital relations. He does, actually, darling. He has a very, very good reputation. And you were just embarrassing the man going on and on about our sex life. You know, the poor man was flummoxed. Couldn't you see that? And who can blame him? I'm sorry, Fiona. I, I agreed to go and see a therapist, but I'm not exactly going to go in there and, and drag out the dirty laundry, am I? Are you mad? Am I in trouble? No, I'm not mad. The bills are just piling up, babe. You shot too much. I walked by Herod's the other day, the owner. What's his name? The Egyptian guy. Alfred? Yeah. He came out on the sidewalk and he kissed me. You shot too much. I don't know why you don't want to go to L.A. I like L.A. I think you and I could have a really good life out there. I do. Carly, look at me. I can't live in L.A. Okay? I can't live in L.A. Why? Because I can't be in business with these people. They have no soul. No soul. The entire city of L.A. has no soul. Well, maybe not the entire city, but the ones that won't return my phone call sure don't. Alan, if you can't deal with me, uh, I, I need to leave you. I'm sorry. Leave me? I'm at this point of my life where I need to be with someone that isn't so afraid. And what am I afraid of exactly? I don't know. Me, I would think. But if, if, if you can't deal with me... Is this about therapy again? Yes. If you want to shut me out, then I'll... I'll go live with my cousin Juliet until I leave for Rome alone. I'm sorry. You know, you're being ridiculous, but fine! Fine, now, if that's what you want, well, we'll have another go at the therapist and we'll have ourselves a bloody good talk about sex. Ask him if he used to enjoy it when he kissed me in between my legs. How come he used to love to do that for a long, long time? And then something happened, and slowly and slowly, it was less and less time, until one day, he doesn't like to kiss me in between my legs anymore. Ask him. Uh, uh, I, 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 I tell you what... Why didn't you ask him? Okay. I will. Alan, 
Why don't you want to kiss me in between my legs anymore? It's the same me. It's the same legs. What happened? You loved it. Answer me, please. Well, I don't know. It's it, it just... I suppose the passion just goes. It's natural. It fades. You see, I don't believe that. I think something else is happening. It isn't about Rome, and it isn't about sex. Oh, thank God. All I want him to do is to talk to me. We don't talk, and we don't have sex. Now, I got a hit book. He doesn't produce a big TV show anymore. It affects us. Fiona, you but think... But he thinks it no, does. You think everything affects us. Everything. You, you just want to talk about everything all the time. You know, it gets very hard. Now ask him how often he liked me to make love to him with my mouth. How many times a week? Oh, God. Are we here again? Um, yes. Uh, really? Yeah. How often did he like me to make love to him with my mouth when we first got married? Do, 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 do I have to ask him? Yes. All right. Uh, <coughs> Adam. Yes? How many times a week did Fiona make love to you with her mouth when you were first married? Ten or eleven times a week. Really? Ask him where. Ask him where. Um, well, where did, did um, Fiona make, you know, with her, you know, as it were? Oh, you know, everywhere, really. At home, at work, in the car, at the tube station. Tube station? Mm-hmm. Now, ask him how often I do it now. Once a month, maybe? Because you know why? Because he doesn't like it anymore. Has he just grow tired of it? Is it natural? Why? He loves to eat a good steak, he says, for his whole life. Loves a good steak. Now, how come he's never gotten tired of that? How come the passion for a good steak doesn't just naturally fade away? I'm sorry. Are you upset with him for liking steak? I'm, I'm confused. Of course you are. You're in over your head, don't you see? Yes. Yes. Really, you're here a month. How come? Drew Barrymore. She's in town doing a movie. I'm here babysitting. You handle Drew Barrymore? Someone has to. How oh, she's lucky to have you. I've been there. A good agent is the only way to stay in the game. Really? She's lucky to have you. Love that talk. An actress who appreciates her agent. She remember that little speech, Carly. I'm going to introduce you to Drew. I want you to repeat it word for word. <laughs> Hi. Yeah. Hi. Hey. How are you? How are you doing? Are you all right? Yeah, fine. Are you all right? I'm moving to Rome. I I'm doing a book on Rome. Rome? Yeah. Alice going to Rome? You're kidding, right? Well, you might not go with me. We had lots of fights about it. You guys are fighting? Mm. Do you want me to go to Rome with you? I could write a play set in Rome. I I actually didn't think my comedy might play very well with the Romans. It, it could be the problem. Ben. Still have any feelings for me? I'm married. No, no you're married, but... What about Carly? What about her? She's great. She's great, but, you know, she, she's not you. I think we had something really special, you and I. I do. Will you at least see me before you go? At least, you know, spend some time with me? And I love you, but please, go to hell or something. Seriously. You're a little prick. A little prick? Yeah. You are a little prick. And you like to have trouble. I don't. Your show's playing in America. On PBS. I looked into the numbers. They're not bad. Okay. For PBS. I think it's a good time to come back. Good time to parlay. What about Ben? I'm not talking about Ben. 
talking about you. Come back to LA with me, Carly. What do, you, what do you mean once you go to LA? He wants to represent you? Yes. And where will you stay? I'll stay at his place and, until I find a place of my own. So be good for my career. I've got a shot again. You're going to stay with Davis? At his house? The guy's had one platonic relationship his whole life. It was with his sister. And it was semi platonic. I don't want to hurt you, but I just feel like it won't matter to you anyway. I've always been honest with you about how important my career is. You are the worst fucking agent in the history of show business. Not only do you not get me work, not only do you ride down any aspirations that I have to grow as an artist, but you have the audacity to come to London and to steal my girl. You are a new low in the annals of sleazy, slimy, pimpy, ball-sucking, ass-yodeling, miscreant show business sycophants. You suck as a human. You done? Yes. I gotta go. I'm late. Freddie Prince Jr.